it's a fascio communist system or communo fascist system however you want to word it again they shook hands they brought in their variants of outcome based education in through the back door in this country took over the cultural institutions took over the government took over you know set up all the think tank and, and intelligence agencies and you have the world that exists today because of these two That's political right. totalitarian ideologies coming here and setting up camp in the one country that they knew they couldn't militarily defeat so they took it over culturally, ideologically, you know, uh, in all the institutional aspects. Helen, thank you so much for the great call, great points that you raise. And ladies and gentlemen, that's what it's all about. It's about morally bringing up your children. Get them out of the government education centers. Get them out of the government indoctrination centers, I should say. Uh, homeschool, you know, instill moral values. And, you know, again, that's going to take a, a family dynamic. That's why the, the family dynamic is so v vehemently attacked. You know, that's why they want to drive a wedge between the sexes. So people are dysfunctional. And then, you know, you, you end up having single parents who can't raise their children, have to send them to a doc, uh, 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 indoctrination center by the government. And then you have the kind of immorality that's all around us. It's a, it's a beautifully constructed plan. It's a chess move that few can understand and see. You have to imagine real masculine energy on one side, real feminine energy on the other side. And what they want is to blur the lines between them, to bring everybody away from those genuine things and have it all be sort of a competing um, mixture, okay, where there's no real men and there's no real women and everybody is a, um, uh, a silhouette or a husk that isn't really acting in the capacity of a genuine being. They're the literal non-genuine false being. You know, the, they don't want real men and real women in society. Real men and real women are not going to be able to be manipulated. And I'll, I'll give further elaboration on what I consider a real man and a real woman to be as I explore this topic in the future. And I will certainly explain what I consider the artificial man and the artificial woman to be, or the manipulated man or the manipulated woman. And that's who that's what comprises most of human society today. The artificial manipulated man and woman that bears no resemblance to the real item, to the real thing. They can't even conceptualize how this was done to them. They were made into beings, into creatures by people and think tanks and groups that they never met, never heard of. And they were turned into golems by these people that are operating on rote response, like a, a, a stimulus response organism instead of an actual thinking human being. And this was done through social engineering